Hi everyone. So let's get right into the storyline, whatever this, whatever this is, whoever this is for. Please keep in mind I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not be for you. Only take it if it resonates. These cards usually get really specific, so this is usually only for like a few people when I pull these cards. Okay, we have Coffin, Concern, Pathway, Privileged Lady, Thoughts, Bad Health, hmm. Courthouse, Expectation, This is someone who really did you wrong and they're being judged is what I feel. I feel like this person, okay, God, let me see. Let me make sure I should, let me, should I share what I'm feeling, what I'm, what I'm hearing here? Okay, trigger warning everybody. And this, this is only for like one or two of you, but I'm hearing um, like sex, you know, sexual assault for someone. For others, I, f I just feel like this person did you wrong. For some, it's actually sexual assault for like one or two of you. Um, for other people, I feel like this is just somebody who maybe cheated on you. They betrayed you. But it's, it's more, it's not just like your average betrayal. It's not like you guys were relatively happy and you guys broke up. I feel like this, this person really betrayed you. Like they really did something bad to you here. Um... For some, I feel like this is is like a an ex of yours that just like cheated on you with a friend or they gaslit you like there is like some kind of major manipulation. Uh, basically, what your spirit guides want you to know is that they're taking care of this person like you have justice on your side. Um, you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to you don't need to go hex them or anything like that. Like they're your spirit guides are taking care of it. Because I feel like someone's concerned here. It's like someone's concerned. Um, oops, sorry about that. It's like you're the privileged lady, male or female. I feel like you're someone that's privileged, like you're taken care of. I feel like this person's thinking about you. I feel like, give me a minute here to, to tell you to tune into it more. Oh, God, I keep bumping the thing. Because bad health and courthouse, I had to look at it for a minute because I was looking at like bad health, courthouse, expectation, and I was like, okay, what is this exactly? And the energy I'm feeling from it is like, I feel like someone is expecting to be judged. With bad health and courthouse, somebody is expecting to be judged. Somebody might even be going through health issues, mental health issues, physical health issues. And I actually feel like this person is changing their ways. Um... And this is probably for those of you that it's not sexual assault where it was just like a, a partner or someone that cheated on you, betrayed you. I actually feel like this person is changing their ways because they're, I, I feel like they, I feel like they, they just went through bad karma, but it's like they know, they know that it's bad karma. I feel like this person is aware of it. Like, I don't think this person's even blaming you for it. You know, I think that you might have even considered hexing this person if you're a witch and you decided against it. I don't even think that it was like necessary, you know, not not saying that you should ever hex anybody. But I'm just saying that it, it's almost like your spirit guides just took things into their own hands to protect you from whatever this was. And to kind of teach this person a lesson. Because I honestly, what I'm, what I'm feeling from this, this spread is like, I don't even feel like this person is blaming you. Like in the past, they might have been worried like, oh, why am I having bad luck? Am I being hexed? Like, is there a curse on me? Like, what's going on? They're not, they're not even blaming you anymore. They, I actually feel this sense of like, you know, like honor, um, obligation, responsibility. Like they're, they're actually looking in the mirror and they're realizing that they're the problem. Or that they were at least a huge part of the problem. 
because I just I'm, I'm just getting that energy with the expectation card because it's like you see this this person is looking at courthouse and bad health and in this context I feel like it's saying it's like they expect to be judged by higher ups and they expect bad karma for the things that they've done it's almost like they're they're like facing the music now they're not trying to blame you or trying to blame everyone um, and this could even be like a woman or someone this could be like a relative or like a mother that betrayed you it could be a number of people um, if this is your story but it just feels like it just feels like they know that they're being judged and they know that they feel like it's justified they feel like like they're not fighting it anymore they're not in denial about this anymore they're not they're not trying to run from this they're not trying to blame other people they're really just embracing this they're like okay this is you know this is divine justice I feel like this person is very intuitive right now because it's just really interesting the energy I keep feeling from this it's like this person is like aware that this is karma it's like they this person like I don't know if they believed in it before but I feel like now they believe in these things they believe in spirituality twin flames soulmates karma the you know uh the higher higher realms all those things it's like because I just feel this I feel like a sense of like awareness from this person with this expectation card where they're like you know it, it, like they know what's going on they know what this is they know what this judgment is I actually feel like this person is inspired to change though I feel like they're kind of almost going through like a spiritual awakening where they're like and again there's two different storylines here so if you were sexually assaulted I feel like it's basically your spirit guides are taking care of that this person's going through some horrible karma you can rest and relax in and heal to the best of your ability um you don't need to don't worry about this person don't don't I know it's I know it's easier said than done but don't give them another don't give them any more of your energy don't give them another minute of your time and I'm not saying to just suppress it you know obviously if you go through that kind of trauma you can't just simply suppress it but it, it's I think they're saying like you know get counseling or, or do what you need to do to heal from this but don't waste any more time and energy on on that person you know what I mean um you don't need to because I think some of you are like worrying about it you're like are they going to get what they deserve like like you wanted revenge and your spirit guides are saying hey we're taking care of this you don't you don't like let us handle everything let us take care of it we're not going to let this person just get off scot-free after what they did to you we're going to handle it even if you don't get to see it physically like we are going to take care of this person so you can you can rest and, and move on from this um for others like I said for the second storyline I feel like this was like an ex or, of yours or it was someone that just betrayed you in in some pretty horrible ways and now they're they're owning up to this I feel like they're also seeing things from your perspective they're understanding it's, it's like a very deep energy I'm feeling because it's like they're more responsible than they were in the past it's like they understand why they're being judged they understand what they're being judged for but it, it's like they're explain this energy it's like very self-aware right now very very self-aware they're just they're embracing it but anyway they want to change if that's your storyline it's like they want to change high honor community they want to be a better person great fortune toil and labor poverty thief hmm sudden wealth for some this is a really specific message I'm getting but for some it's like they might have tried to steal money from you or they tried to steal money from somebody else and they got caught so it's like poverty thief sudden wealth it's like they thought they were gonna have sudden wealth and they end up someone did to them what they were doing to you tell me more about this imprisonment could even be jail time for some and it's very unexpected mature woman message of concern for some I keep getting for someone it's like a mother that betrayed you could be like an evil stepmother type or something but I feel like someone could be facing it's like spiritual imprisonment if not um if not physical imprisonment, you have marriage. 
Actually, okay, so I don't really read reversals, but I almost am actually drawn to take that in the reverse. I almost feel like for someone, it's like there was like a marriage that was going to come out of this and it's not going to come out now. It's, it's like this person is... Someone might divorce this woman. There's a few different storylines here. But if you're in that energy group where, you know, if, if you're in that specific storyline where this was like a mother figure, it's like someone might be divorcing this person or they're not going to go through with a marriage because they're going to find out about something that she was doing behind the scenes, something very shady. Either way, if you're in this energy group, whoever this was that betrayed you or... I'm hearing like betrayed your father. For someone, this is like an older woman that was like maybe, you know, like a stepmother or something. And I feel like yeah, whoever this is, it's like they have very bad karma. Family room, judication. Main female. Journey. Wealthy man. You're getting what's owed to you. I feel like I feel like okay so if you if your if your storyline is this was an ex of yours that like cheated on you with a friend of yours they did something pretty horrible to betray you I, I do feel like they are changing. I don't know if you would necessarily want them back or if they would even want you back. But it just feels like whatever you, karmic lessons you try to teach them, it's like they've learned them now. They understand it. It's almost like your spirit guides want you to have a sense of closure with this. They want you to know that justice is on your side. You don't need to worry about it. Because whoever I'm reading, I feel like you're still having anxiety about the situation. Like there's a lot of anger or there's this desire for revenge. It's like you're like, why did I waste all this energy on this? Is this person ever going to learn their lessons? <laughs> Sorry. Um, and, and the, you know, the answer is yes. Your spirit guides are just saying, hey, we're taking care of it. You can rest. You can rest. Um, maybe I'll look more into that later, that person that's changing. Well, let me see. So what do you need to know about that person that's changing? That person. So if you're in that in that energy group where you had like an ex that betrayed you and now, now this person is aware of their bad karma. They're aware. They're facing it. They're, they're not fighting it anymore. They're, they're, I think they're almost letting it transform them too. It's almost like they're going through a bit of like a spiritual. It's, it's like you have to go. The only way out is through kind of energy is, is what I'm feeling. And they're, they're sensing that. They're like, you know what, the more I try to fight this bad karma, the harder it gets, the more tension there is in my life. I need to just face it. I need to just own up to what I've done. Um, this could even be someone turning themselves in. If they did something illegal, they might even call other people out. Like if, like, let's say they were stealing money with other people, they might even just turn those other people in along with themselves, um, which is, you know, very rare for someone to do that, of course. But, you know, that's the, that's the energy I'm picking up here. But it's like someone's having honor. They're having integrity. They're doing the right thing finally. They're being honest finally. But yeah, tell me more about that. So so what else do you want to say about that? If this is like an ex that's wanting to change. And I feel like this person wants to be a better person too. Like they actually genuinely do want to do, be a better person. And so I think that's part of why they're embracing this they're like i'm gonna have to just go through this I'm, I'm not i can't run from this bad karma i can't run from these spirit guides if i want to be a good man or a good woman i'm gonna have to just face this yeah kind of just the same thing we've been getting it's like four of swords is someone who's in a meditative state it's like they're going inward they're doing some soul searching the magician is someone who just has all the tools that they need it's like they're making the world their oyster um, and I feel like, I feel like with justice, it's, it's just the same things that we've been talking about there. Well, let me see what's two of pentacles doing here. <laughs> They're tired of juggling something too. I feel like they're becoming more passionate as well. It's like they're tired of like juggling between these two different, it's almost like they have two different personalities. They could even have demonic attachments because I almost, the energy I'm channeling from this card is almost like two souls or two, um, like two very, like Jekyll and Hyde almost, like two very different energies. So this person could even have like a demonic attachment or they have like, 
like some other personality, like some other persona, you know what I mean? It's it's like, and everyone has like, you know, their work personality and their home personality. I, I get that's common for people, but this is, this is to more of an extreme. This could even be mental illness. But I feel like this person is, it's like they're making a commitment. You see how this person, it's like he's looking at this. He's like, you know what, this path might not be as easy as this other path. Maybe this person was a thief or a cheater or a liar or all of the above. And this, you know, he's like, he or she is like, you know what, like this, this path down here might not be as easy as this path. I can't get what I want as easily. It's not as easy for me to hustle. I'm, I'm not, it, it's, but, but this is the more honorable path. This is in alignment with the person I'm trying to be. So I'm going to, you know, tune into this passion, this emotion, and I'm, I'm going to actually do the right thing for a change. I'm, I'm not going to take the easy way out like I always do. I'm, I'm going to take accountability. I'm going to learn my karmic lessons. Hmm. Yeah, I, I do feel like they're going... It's like there's something that this person did that was easy. Because Page of Wands in the reverse can be someone that's like... It's, it could be like someone that's like impulsive or reckless or they're like indecisive. You know what I mean? And it's like they just want the easy way out. Like they want easy money. They want easy relationships. They want to be on top. And this person's walking away from that. They're walking away from all of that. They're walking away from taking the easy way out. So this could even be someone that's choosing you over karmics. They might have, you know, played it safe with karmics. Uh, third parties and now they're like you know what this isn't satisfying me being in third party situations it's not what I want um, the grass wasn't greener on the other side so I'm gonna leave this behind it's like someone's really leaving their own life old life behind and they're they're starting from scratch we got the world and the death card it's like this person's really starting over they want victory why the eight of swords Yeah, they feel trapped because I feel like I feel like maybe this person also suppressed their emotions. And so now all that conflict, the heartbreak, heartbreaks they've caused other people, heartbreaks that they've gone through themselves, all those emotions are rising to the surface now. And they're just they got they have like an inner battle they're facing for sure right now, like a, a heavy inner inner battle. But yeah, I mean, they're healing. They actually are. They're finally they're not suppressing things anymore. So it's actually really beautiful. Like they are ultimately on a good path, even though, though they're on like a rough part of that path right now. It's still really a positive thing. Despite all these cards, it's like it's something that they had to face. It was inevitable. And I think maybe they tried for, you know, several months or even several years to avoid this, to avoid feeling this, to avoid the conflict, the the inner demons, the things that they know that they needed to face. Now they're facing it and it's very painful for them. But since they're using discernment, intuition, uh, honor, integrity, uh, you know, committing to themselves, being the person they really want to be, making a judgment call, you know, really making a judgment call, um, they're able to heal this. They are going to be, they are going to come through the other side, um, you know, they're just, they're kind of in that in-between phase, but they are actually going to get through this and, and be a much better person, be a much stronger person, be a much, you know, just, just healing, just, just general healing is what I'm feeling here. Anyway, I'm going to put this out there for you guys. Um, thank you for watching and I appreciate your support.